All right, guys, we are to the very last part of our last lecture for the entire school year. You guys are almost through with pre-calc. I mean, seniors, you are almost done with your senior year. Uh, and after this video and you do your Alex, you're done with math for your senior year at least. Um, and juniors and sophomores and freshmen, uh, you got a final left. And I don't think it will be too bad. But we'll talk about that in our mandatory meeting, okay, uh, during uh, ours would be Friday. Yeah. All right. So we are going to solve, instead of using reduced row echelon form, because that's really cool. Don't get me wrong. It's probably my favorite. Uh, there's other ways to use matrices to solve okay, systems. And so one is actually using that inverse thing we learned about last time. And I know I didn't really explain how to do it by hand. Um, I don't think most of you really care anyway, but um, we're going to use the inverse to solve. Okay. And so you guys are very, very familiar with solving with inverses, right? The the basis of algebra. Okay, if I had 2x plus 1 equals 20, you all know how to solve this doing the inverse, right? What is the inverse of addition? We all know it's subtraction, okay? And 2x equals 19, and then what's the inverse of multiplication? Well, that's division, okay? And so it'd be 19 halves. So we're using that similar kind of feature here, okay? And so what this is transferred into a matrix, all right, is, um, Really, it's that very first one we did, okay, and we have this times xy equals 10, negative 12. Okay, so that's how this got transferred into this, right? It's the x and y, and it's our coefficients, and then what it's equal to, okay? And so essentially what I'm doing here is I'm going to call this matrix A times matrix B equals matrix C. And so I want to solve for matrix A. So I need to then multiply by the inverse of A. So I'm going to multiply by the inverse of A. Here's the key thing, though, is what I do to one side to do the other. And we have been trained multiplication, the order doesn't matter. But remember back when we were doing matrix multiplication, it does matter, right? Okay, and so the inverse of matrix A is going to be a 2 by 2, okay? So what I have with C is a 2 by 1. And if I want to multiply it by inverse A, that'd be a 2 by 2. And I hope you see right here, that doesn't work, right? A 1 does not equal a 2. So really what we're going to multiply by is the inverse of A, but it has to be in front there. Okay? And so what we have now is matrix B will equal A inverse times C. And so what that looks like is XY is going to equal the inverse of A. So I'm going to just write it like this inverse times 10 over negative 12. Okay, and so what we're going to have in Alex is you'll have to actually write what the inverse is, times it by 10 over negative 12, and then write your answer. And we're going to have a calculator do all of this for us. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to second matrix, and we're going to edit matrix A so it looks like this. Okay, so this is a 2 by 2, so 2 by 2. Okay, and so I get negative 6, 2, 8, negative 3, second quit and go back to matrix, and we're gonna edit matrix B, okay? And this is a two by one, which I already had, so I have 10 times a negative 12, okay? All right, and so the first thing I need to do is find the inverse of matrix A. So I'm gonna hit second matrix A, and remember the inverse is just the negative one exponent. So I'll do that, and I get this answer right here. And if you wanna change it into fractions, you can, since this is um, uh, ending decimal, it doesn't repeat, go on forever, it's totally cool. Okay, so this is negative 1.5, negative 1, negative 4, negative 3, and we are multiplying it by 10, negative 12. So I'm going to take this answer, this matrix that I have right here, all right, and I'm going to multiply that by what we put in, 10, negative 12 was matrix B. So I go right there, and I hit enter, and there's my answer. It is negative 3, negative 4. And you have it equal to, over here, x, y. Okay, so this is a, another way using inverses to solve a system. So you don't always have to do redu reduced row echelon form. It really doesn't matter, though. Okay, if you find this way way easier, then do it this way. If you like the reduced row echelon form, do it that way. doesn't matter. That's it, guys. We are done with matrices. All right, if you have questions, don't forget to set up a Zoom meeting. Okay, and I'm definitely here and available to help you.